For this problem, we need to find the general solution for this system uh, and the particular solution which solves those initial constraints uh, where x of 0 is equal to 1, 0. Okay, um, so let's just, we need to know, well, we know that we need to find the uh, homogeneous equation, uh, I mean the homogeneous solution and the particular solution. So we'll start with the homogeneous solution, which we get through the eigenvalues. And you'll remember we find the eigenvalues uh, of this matrix, and we'll get a general solution that'll look like this. Uh, C1e to the lambda 1t, v1 uh, plus C2e to the lambda 2t, v2. So we need to go about getting these eigenvalues. To do that, find the determinant uh, of this matrix minus lambda i. And that's equal to 6 minus lambda minus, times minus 2 minus lambda um, plus 7. Cool. That's equal to, okay, minus 12 minus 6 lambda plus 2 lambda lambda squared plus 7 lambda squared uh, minus 4 lambda, right? and minus 5. Okay, uh, I can factor this. Uh, lambda minus 5, lambda minus uh, plus 1. Cool, and that gives me lambda 1 is negative 1, and lambda 2 is 5. Cool, now we just, we have our eigenvalues, we need our eigenvectors. So, uh, eigenvector 1, I'm going to take minus 1, put it in there, uh, see what happens. So 6 minus minus 1, that's 7, minus 7, minus 2, uh, plus 1 is minus 1. Okay, so I have 7 minus 7, 1 minus 1. So my vector v1, uh, it needs to be such that uh, the, if we multiply that by that, we get 0. So because 7 minus 7 is 0, our vector 1 is just 1, 1. Because uh, 1 minus 1 is 0 as well. And for vector, eigenvector 2, we now use eigenvalue uh, 5. So 6 minus 5 is 1. I have one, I think of 7, 1, and minus 2. Uh, minus 5 is minus 7. So my vector 2, uh, if we multiply this one by 7, then we just have minus 7, and that's equal to 0, so we'll put a 1 there. So eigenvector 2 is equal to 7, 1. Cool. Now we can write our general solution. I mean our uh, homogeneous solution. That's xh. We don't have the general solution yet. That's C1 uh, e to the negative t times 1, 1 plus C2 e to the 5 t times 7, 1. Cool. We have xh. Now we need xp. Okay. So looking at this, uh, I have a constant here times e to the t, so my xp is probably going to be of the form a constant times e to the t. Uh, I'm going to generalize that and just say, do I have room right here? I think I do. Um, if I don't, this is going to be a problem. xp is going to be constants a, b uh, times e to the t. Okay, and you'll notice that xp is the same as the derivative. If we take the derivative, it's the same thing. Uh, so, yep. So we're gonna uh, plug this back into our original equation and see what values we get for a and b. Uh, so, x prime is gonna be a b e to the t equals our matrix, six minus seven, 1 minus 2 
times AB to the T plus I'm just factoring that e to the t out. Um, cool. Now I have e to the t is on every uh, on every part of that equation. I can factor that out, or I'm just divide it out. Cool. Um, so I'm for here. I'm briefly going to switch out of matrix form just because I think it's easier to see this way. Uh, what this multiplication goes out to is going to be A equals um, multiplying like this, remember, uh, multi matrix multiplication. So that's uh, 6A minus 7B plus 8. And B is equal to A minus 2B. That's a terrible B. Uh, plus 0. Okay, I'm going to make those look nicer. Okay, I'm going to get a constant on one side and multiples of A and B on the other. So, 8 equals you know what, minus 8. I'll subtract that and subtract that. Uh, minus 8 equals 5A minus 7B and 0 equals a minus 3b. Okay, now it's just like a, a solution or a, a system of equations like we're used to solving, so I'm going to put that into a matrix and solve that. Uh, I'm going to need to move to the next board. So just transferring that over, it's, uh, you know what, I should put my solutions at the end. That won't confuse you, will it? Will it? So we had 5a minus 7b equals negative 8, and we had uh, a minus 3b equals 0. So to solve this, start with row 1 minus 5 times row 2, and that will that should get rid of that actually. Uh, so 5 minus 0, zero uh, minus, ooh, okay, minus 7 minus 5 times minus 3 minus 7 plus 15, so that'll be 8, and minus 8. Okay, uh, I can divide that by 8. You just become 1, you just become negative 1. And now we've got row 2 uh, plus 3 row 1. Minus 3, plus 3 is 0, and 0 uh, plus 3 times minus 1 is negative 3. Okay. Uh, we can switch those around if we want, because that's the way RREF is supposed to look. And we get RA is minus 3, RB is minus 1. So if you remember, uh, our particular solution, xp, we had a and b. So it's going to be minus 3, minus 1, e to the t. And this gives us uh, the general form. I'm going to uh, x of t. We just need a uh, x of h plus x of b. So uh, I'm copying what I wrote before on uh, the other board. You can't see it right now, but I'll do my best not to make a mistake. Uh, that was c1 e to the minus t times 1, 1 plus c2 e to the 5t, 7, 1 uh, plus this we just got. Um, I've had my e's on this side. E t et, oh, that's funny, uh, to the minus 3 minus 1. Cool. Uh, that's, that's my general solution. Uh, all that's left is to find the uh, particular solution with initial constraints. 
Uh, I'm also going to copy this from the other board, just to make things easier. If you remember, my x of 0 was 1, 0. So we're going to put that into our equation and see what happens. So x of 0. Uh, if t is 0, e to the, um, whenever you have e to 0, that's equal to 1. Um, so I have c1, 1, 1, plus c2, 7, 1, uh, plus minus 3, minus 1, is equal to 1, 0. OK, uh, I want to add that vector to that side. So now we have C1, 1, 1, C2, 7, 1 is equal to uh, 4, 1, right? OK, and here we have yet another uh, solution, our system of linear equations. So once again, we're going to solve this out. We're using a matrix. 1, 7, 4, 1, 1, 1. OK, I'm going to take row 2 minus row 1. One minus seven is negative six. One minus four is minus three. Okay. Uh, now I'm actually going to take row one plus row two. That'll get me one, one, and one. And if I have row two divided by uh, minus six, that gives me one and one half. And finally, uh, row 1 minus row 2, 1, 0, 1 half, 0, 1, 1 half. So my C1 and my C2 are both equal to 1 half. C1 equals C2 equals 1 half. So uh, I just need to plug that in right here, and we'll get our final answer. One half e to the minus t times the vector one one plus one half e to the five t times the vector seven one <sighs> plus e to the t times the vector minus three minus one. So general solution, solution with initial constraints, uh, and we're done here.